We're just two days into the new year and over the holiday weekend, you may have heard a lot of people saying new year, new me. For some of you, that may mean changing up your look. Dr. Michael Kim is here with me this morning to tell us more about how people are changing and what they're looking into in 2017. Good morning. Good morning. What are some of the trends that you think that uh, may be different this year versus years past? Well, you know, over the last couple of years, non-invasive stuff is becoming very uh, popular. And so stuff people are looking for uh, no downtime, quick procedures, Botox is still going up, fillers, uh, new lasers, uh, fat freezing, fat burning, fat melting. Um, and so, Patients, I think, especially the younger patients between 20 and 40, are looking for non-surgical ways to move fat, uh, to move wrinkles, to move hair, um, and it brown spots, age spots, etc. Um, and so now we're seeing a, a large number of med spas and uh, PAs, nurse practitioners, doing um, uh, work with these fillers and Botox. How well do these work? And uh, are these things that need to be touched up? Are they lasting? Most of the non-surgical stuff, unfortunately, there's more marketing than science. So when you hear about the newest laser, the newest uh, this or that, um, unless it's you know been out for a while, you have to be very careful. Now these are statistics over the last 15 years. You can see most of the main surgical procedures on top, like breast augmentation or stable liposuction, uh, tummy tucks have gone up a lot. And you can see on the bottom, the arm lifts and body lifts, a lot of patients are going through um, gastric bypass, losing a lot of weight, so they're going through the body lifts. And those have gone up like 4,000 percent in the last wow. 15 years. So we're seeing a lot of increases in surgical and also the non-surgical procedures on the bottom. You can see Botox has gone up sevenfold in the last 15 years, but probably even more so because these are procedures, these statistics are from board certified plastic surgeons. And obviously, a lot of nurse practitioners, family doctors, GOM people are doing the Botox. There's probably even more than that. So um, the trends, um, in my opinion this year, you want to go out and start looking younger this year, and that's one of your things to do, is to be very aware of the newest treatments. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't want to go out and something advertises it's going to do this. You've got to do your research. Um, two is, you know, when you go to a place or hear about a place, you know, is there a doctor involved? You know, you want to make sure that a place has something, if something goes wrong, if you have an issue after your treatment, is there anyone going to be able to treat it? I see a lot of complications from people going to other places. Something happens and they can't fix it, then they end up seeing yeah. me. So you want to go to a place where probably, in my opinion, an MD of some sort, dermatologist, plastic surgeon, ENT, um, ophthalmologist, someone there, uh, uh, op supervising the place, so if something goes wrong, you know, you can be covered. Um, and, you know, do your research, ask your friends, you know, if they've been happy with places. I think that's the most important thing is safety, um, asking people that you know where they go. If they're happy for years, you can go there too. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, there are a great, great many uh, PAs and nurse practitioners that I know that do a great job, but then there are a lot of others out there just looking for the money, you know. And so, uh, just do your research, be safe, and have a great new year. All right, Dr. Kim, thank you so much as always. Sure. We'll put this information on our website, weeknews.com.